Hi, my name is Dominic and today I want to show you a cool new feature that will make its way into Cockpit soon, SLinux troubleshooting. I think many of you have already come into contact with SLinux messages and events. It's not always easy to tell what really happened. Well, there is a good way to do this and there's a tool called SE Troubleshoot. What it does, it analyzes audit events, looks at possible solutions, there's lots of plugins and offers you solutions. So right now you can see currently on my system there are no SLinux alerts. That is a good thing. So let's simulate that something goes wrong. I'm going to connect to my system via SSH. And then what we do is we mess with the host key. Now we just restart SSHD. And right away you can see the UI reacts, it detected there's something wrong. We had the SLinux events. So what happened? Okay, probably take a while for this to show up. But it says could not load host key. So if we were to disconnect right now and try to reconnect, hmm, host key verification failed. So what, we can, what can we do? We're on the system here. It tells us SLX is preventing SSHD from read access on the file. Well, that makes sense. Click on details. It's occurred four times. We look at the, look at the audit log to see exactly what happened in case you want to report it. I'll use it in some other tool. And then we can look at the different solutions. In this case, we have several ones. We can fix the label. In that case, we run restorecom. Look at the details. Okay. If we want SSHD to have read access on the file, we must run restorecon. That makes sense on SSH. If we should that this, if you think that this should be enabled by default, this is a fallback solution. We can create a custom policy module. This is usually not a good do a thing. It should only be used in emergencies. So right now, let's go with this other solution. We can't apply this automatically because there's an issue with the backend right now. So let's take this and go into the cockpit's terminal since we can't connect to via SSH and run restorecon as recommended on the host key. Okay. Let's restart SSHD just to make sure. And let's see. There we go, we can connect again. And if there are different issues, obviously there'll be more events here, different solutions to pick from. And this should help significantly in trying to debug SLinux issues without having to resort to just disabling SLinux completely. Thanks for listening.